Hey bakers, I'm Sasha, and I'm a baker at Roberta's in Brooklyn. I'm also a fitness instructor at Barry's in New York City, and today I'll be your host for Alt Baking Bootcamp with Well and Good. Today, we're gonna be making your classic banana bread, but with an extra protein punch. It's gluten-free and has a scoop of my favorite vanilla protein so that I can have a hearty snack when I'm in between classes or on my way out of the bakery. Your typical banana bread usually is made with enriched flour, some refined sugars, and doesn't always have a lot of protein. This one, however, we're gonna make some really fun, healthy swaps so that we have a lot of extra fat from the coconut flour, a little bit more protein from the almond meal, lots of protein from the vanilla whey, and five eggs that will not only add to the moisture, but also punch up the protein as well. I'm gonna start by putting all of my wet ingredients into my large bowl. Very ripe bananas is what you want. I typically go even riper than this, but to keep things looking appealing, we'll just go with these. When you put them into the bowl, you can start to break them apart, just so that they're easier to mash come that time. I like to use a ladle, just because it has a larger surface area. You want your bananas to be really ripe because they will then release a natural sugar that starts to develop in the bananas as they ripen. So the darker they are, the better. So you don't wanna fully puree these. I like little chunks of banana in my banana bread, so I'm gonna do it just till it's a nice chunky consistency. Cool. Next, we'll add our eggs, our applesauce, and our maple syrup that also has a little bit of vanilla in it. Carefully, carefully, carefully. Ooh, we made it. <laughs> cool. I'm gonna add my whisk attachment and give it a stir. You don't need any crazy power here. And honestly, you don't even need to do it for very long. You just wanna combine all the ingredients together. We'll lift it up. And now we'll get moving onto our dry ingredients. So. We've got coconut flour, we'll put that in first. Almond meal, next. Protein powder, yay. It also has a natural vanilla flavor, which will add to the aroma of the finished product. And in here, we've got one teaspoon of baking powder, one teaspoon of baking soda, one teaspoon of Ceylon cinnamon, and about a pinch of salt. Once you've got all of your dry ingredients together in a separate bowl, you can take a flour sifter or a fork or a whisk or honestly whatever you've got at home and just mix them together. You wanna just aim to combine them all, but also take out any lumps that might be forming in your flours or your powders. This ensures that you'll get an even distribution of all the ingredients before you mix it in with your wets. Cool. Looks about right. Here we go. Great, it's coming together. I'm gonna probably stop it in about 15 seconds just to scrape down the edges and also make sure that nothing got stuck on the bottom of the bowl. Oh my God, it smells amazing already. We'll grab our pre-prepared loaf pan. I've just put a little piece of parchment paper into mine. Another trick is when lining your loaf pan with the parchment paper, you might wanna spray it or drizzle it with a little bit of oil so that you don't have any slippage come batter time. Banana heaven, if that is a place, please take me there, sign me up. I'm gonna take another ripe banana. I'm gonna cut it with the peel on directly down the center lengthwise, all right? I like to go about halfway through and then continue through the other side just to make sure you don't cut a hand off, right? I'm using a serrated knife because it gets right in through that thick skin. 
cut it in half, and now you've got a beautiful little adornment that you can put right on top of your banana bread. Give it a nice press. I would spray it with a little bit more coconut oil and maybe a drizzle of maple syrup before you put it in the oven so that it doesn't burn with the high heat and it'll look really beautiful when it's done. Little bit of oil and we're ready to go. It's going into an oven that's set at 350 degrees for about 42 to 46 minutes, depending on how hot your oven gets. Mine runs a little hot, so I like to set a timer for 40 minutes and then check on what the color looks like on top. Let's get it in there. So, once you've achieved this beautiful golden color, you should be about ready to pull it out of the oven. I would of course let it rest for about 15, maybe 20 minutes just to make sure everything is really, really well held together and the inside or the middle is not super moist, right? Let's dig in. Oh my God, this texture is unreal already. All right, yes, I'm gonna be that person and go right for the center slice. Check it out. We've got a little bit of moisture just from the banana placement on top, but everything else looks perfect. Crumb looks really moist and chewy. Let's try it out. Oh my God. It's so moist, it like melts in your mouth. And that's what we use, nutrient dense flours, almond meal, and protein powder, and it's still really, really delicate. I would eat this for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. If you're gonna have it for breakfast, I would put some of my homemade hazelnut spread on top of it. And if you want the recipe for that, you can check it out in our ice cream sandwich episode. That's it, protein packed banana bread, grain and gluten free, refined sugar free, and such a treat. That's it for our alt baking boot camp with Well and Good. Please subscribe and we'll see you next time.